Today, I'm proud to announce that we're awarding a $30 million implementation grant to Norwalk to help bring this vision to life. It's the largest grant in the city of Norwalk's history, and it's going to revitalize the oldest public housing development in the state of Connecticut. This will be a new horizon that will inspire a new life and new ideas, okay? The new world that will overcome the bridge of being in the press of buildings to a new brown new buildings. It helps with the re redevelopment of the village because as you know, might know that this is a flood zone. So we went through Sandy real bad. Washington Village has been through a lot and after Hurricane Sandy hit in 2012, all of the first floor apartments in the development were underwater. People who live here are resilient. They overcome a lot of obstacles and they deserve to live in homes that are resilient against the most severe storms that last time around flooded everyone's home. You spend millions of dollars cleaning up after these storms. It makes sense to spend a little bit of money up front to guard and protect these facilities against the storm so you don't have to spend all the money after the storm is done. South Norwalk is one of four communities across the country to receive the Choice Neighborhoods Initiative grant to rehabilitate and transform their community. They're going to be working to revitalize Ryan Park across the street to also deal with residential rehabilitation in the neighborhood so that low and moderate income families who have chosen this neighborhood for decades can continue to live in this neighborhood. Let's make sure that the people that do live here come back to live here. Once everything is built, making sure that they got a nice affordable playground, nice affordable housing. Washington Village will host their annual family day on Friday, August 22nd at 3 p.m. In Norwalk, I'm Quajerba Crawfee for It's Relevant News.